Yeah. All right, welcome to Liverpool Connection Podcast. Liverpool just beat Wolves 1-0. We're extremely happy. Glenn Cooley, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Thank sir. You. How Thank are you feeling? Very yeah, very good. Yeah. Reds have won. Off to get a curry soon. Can't get any better than very that, can nice. it? Where are you going to get your curry? Go with Nasha. Nasha it is downtown. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, nice. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes. We're doing a podcast tomorrow. So we'll see yeah. how I am for that. All right, yeah, we yeah. will. All right. Will. Also, guest today, we have Zach. How are you doing? Ah, terrific. You yeah. can't be a one nil victory. You take them. Uh, you know, whatever it's three nil, one nil, whatever it is. But uh, good win. I'm happy to be with good company. It's always good when we win after the uh, week, uh, stroke, month that we've had of some pretty dreadful performances, um, including, of course, that game against Wolves at Anfield last week, which was dreadful. And then after that, we obviously had the Brighton game that was poor. It's good that we get a really good performance with a lot of lineup changes as right, well. Right. Um, the midfield was brilliant today. I thought I thought Bajetic was excellent. Um, I thought Thiago was excellent. I thought Cater for about 70 minutes was really, really good. Accurate, so, yeah. What do you think? What do you That's, think about the midfield today? I think it was accurate. Uh, Thiago, unbelievable. Um, he's been so overworked and he's been... You know, been playing 90 minutes uh, pretty much every game, um, and uh, with his injury problems, he's been ex- excellent. Today was uh, nothing short of that. Um, oh my God! I mean, just an unbelievable talent. Someone who just gave it all today. Um, and Kaita, like I think you, I think you hit the nail on the head. 70 minutes of uh, solid, hard quality work. I think I was. Why? I know I speak for many. I was surprised actually that Kaita didn't start the last game. We know the contract situation. We know he hasn't been consistent, etc. But the way he plays helps our midfield, and it certainly helped us today, right? Yeah, it's it's just really strange, isn't it? Like how he gets you get that. Does he get the whole game tonight, Kaita? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he does. I'm going. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so that's the point. <laughs> yeah, so how does? I'm glad he gets the, the, the full game because now you think, okay, well, now he's got the, those minutes in his legs. Going forward, you know, that will... Surely, he, he, you know, you, you think he would start at the weekend, but yeah. I thought the midfield had a good balance to it tonight. I thought it, it really did, but even 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 if we go to, like, the forward players, there was a good balance to that as well, wasn't there? Like, they all worked really hard, both Harvey and um, Carvalho. Yeah. They played, they're not really... Not, the, the way that we play, those, you know... We sort of have players that are really tricky and players that can run in behind, and they're not that. But for the way that we we want, for what we need right now, we need good balance, good hard working, um, and I think I think they did that really well. Um, the whole balance of the team today was was really good. I thought James Milner was fantastic. He's not been he's not he's not played for a while. Right. I thought the way he started the game, particularly the first half, I thought he was really really good. Yep. Um, winning really good fouls and then giving away really good fouls as well. Just having him on the pitch was was a plus for Liverpool. Um, so yeah, there's, there's there's so many there's so many posit- positives from from today that we can um, we can take forward now. Hopefully, and also a clean sheet. Yeah, clean sheet. Clean sheet, which I, we, nice. we can't we can't remember the last time. When was the last time we had a clean sheet? Oh. I can't remember. One. Oh. I don't either. And I was mentioned to you guys earlier that uh, Kel Heller wasn't real busy. He didn't, didn't have much. much to do. I know uh, we'll talk about much. the first half for now, but Keller just he just exudes this confidence about him. Yeah. Nothing seems to bother him. Um, How old is he? And he was exceptional today. He did really well. There were a couple of instances that you know he had to come in and, and, and get those crosses, which looked a lot easier than they really were. But he gives that confidence, Keller. He gives he? Up someone of uh, confidence to someone of Allison, of Noir, some of these better goalkeepers. Uh, you don't see too many... Um, Problems from Kill Hell. You don't see, you don't see too many, many backups issues. as good right, as Kill right, right, really. right. no. Might it might be a problem in the, in the future, might it? That the fact that he's he, oh, he is so good, but yeah. But I just Harvey think Elliot. Let's talk about that. Yeah. No, right. I, I thought he was brilliant. I thought I, I thought he might have been Liverpool's best player. Um, I just thought, and I said to you at the start, didn't I? Like Liverpool's right winger will be Mohamed Salah. Like it is Mohamed Salah. There's no doubt about yeah. it. But yeah. but. The start of the game, Harvey's got to be thinking to himself, I need to make, I need to have a good game here tonight because he doesn't play right wing for Liverpool. Right. Like he doesn't because Mohamed Salah is Liverpool's right wing. However, right now, there's a situation where he can he can make that position. He can get into he can get into Klopp and 
Pep's mind about playing there and doing really well with Salah potentially moving into the middle. And he did that tonight. He was really, really good. He was great off the ball. He was. He was great on the ball. I mean, his goal was really good, as in, it was a good shite. The goalkeeper's absolutely shocking. He's shite. Right. Right. Like, I can't <laughs> believe he's actually... Yeah. I can't believe that. It's a goal. No man's land. But, at the same time, from, from a Harvey point of view, I just thought I just thought he was really, really good tonight. And the way he hit that, and I was surprised, you know, we saw him pick up the ball, and I was as shocked as anyone. Oh, he's going right. to hit this. And then the goal went in, and we're almost like, did that get deflection? What right. happened next? The goalkeeper yeah. was at a weird angle, and the ball seemed to fly in towards the middle. And then you look at the replay, and yeah. didn't get a deflection. Yep. But the ball just had this little, little spin to it. But it was a brilliant strike, and maybe the goalkeeper should have done better. But regardless, fantastic yeah. goal by yeah. Harvey Elliott. And I agree, yeah, he was fantastic the entire game, and he moved into midfield for a little bit in the second he half. He was everywhere. He was really everywhere. He was all over the pitch. Um, he seemed to be gravitated towards the ball. He was working real hard and I think that over the, you know, we've lacked that intensity um, and, and players that want to get after it and uh, Harvey Elliott set the tone. Yep. Second half. We go into the second half and it was no surprise. Wolves made a few changes. Uh, they brought on Matthias Nunes, mm -hmm. who has been massively linked to us, yeah. um, who was very good against us when he came on in the first game. Um, and we got a little bit deeper right. as, as the half went on. Our midfield, <clears throat> definitely tired. Right. Uh, you could see that with Bajetic, he got tired. Keita was tiring. Right. Um, but even saying that, Wolves still didn't create a great deal. I can't remember m many, if none, of Callaghan like making any saves really you what, he did right? well I tell you what if you had that Traore on your team if you he were would spot one, he would me do you, you would do your head in wouldn't he he? Is, uh, oh my god <laughs> he would do your tits in wouldn't he was he it the first half he what, sat, what, when he, he goes through for and him for him yeah. if you're if you're getting beat and you like need 10 minutes for him just to run in the corners but he's, he's not got a brain in his head like even when the ball goes out to him not honestly and not any point in that second half when that ball goes out to him on that right wing I thought, Christ, he'll pick someone out here. Yeah. He's thick as, thick as pig shit, man. And that was but, the plan. That was not obvious but, plan, wasn't but I it? Thought, I just thought, Wolves went yeah, at the yeah, Greek. Did, yeah. Which I'm not surprised because the Greek ain't that good. No, he isn't, but, but, but still, I still think he's just paced down the line. Bang. The amount of space, I understand what you're saying, Glenn. The amount of space that he had out there. Yeah. You thought he would have done something with it. They no, would have at least got a goal from, yeah. at least a chance on target or something. Yeah, he's, he's, he's shite, but... No, massively, massively, massively um, encouraging signs for Liverpool. Not just because they won the game, but the way they actually played Agreed. the game and the way yeah. that the shape was in the game and the way that they were off the ball. That's the important bit. Um, so, yeah, I, I, hopefully uh, Chelsea's going to be a totally different game. There's no doubt about that. Brighton will be in the Cup, but it's a positive. Yeah. It's a positive sign. And Cody, you know. uh, Cody Gakpo, thoughts? That's his third appearance for us. How do you think he did tonight? Um... It's a hard one, isn't it? I feel I feel a bit harsh on him really because he's come in in January where realistically, if we have if we have Nunes and Diaz or Jota or whatever, he probably he probably has the Diaz he probably has the Diaz role last year where he yeah. comes on for 10, 15 minutes here and there, 30 minutes here and there, and he sort of gets introduced that way into a team that's mustered this year, which <laughs> I so the fact that he's having to play up front next to Carvalho and Harvey, but I thought he was all right. Um, I think I'm not sure what his actual position is. Will be. Um, we've spoke a bit about him maybe becoming yeah. like a ten, but right. I thought he was okay. I think the the two outside players that we had don't help him because yeah. I feel like he's quite good at like coming short for the ball and right. linking up play. But then there's not really that pace in behind for him to find. Um, he likes a shot, doesn't he? Yeah. He likes a shot. He likes a shot more than Darwin. He likes a shot. <laughs> But yeah, I agree with you. It's really hard to judge. Three games in, uh, well, you can you, you can't really, you know, have a, a solid opinion about him at the moment. If we base it just off this game against Wolves today, I thought we struggled a little bit. I think he didn't really hold the ball up that well. But um, Gakpo at the moment, that's like a discussion really for another time. Really I don't really catch. see much that we can talk about him at the moment. But three games in, it's done mm. all right. Hasn't set the the world alight or anything like that. we've been that, shite, haven't we, at the same time? Exactly. So you're you're, you're right. First, you know and you, I mean? Yeah, you come into a situation with what we are in at the moment, a team not playing well and with all the crap that's going on behind the scenes, like, that's, that's difficult. Yeah, and no, it is. Show, but 1-0, very happy. Um, and I know we're going to speak about the Chelsea game of the weekend. We're going to do another pod tomorrow that we're going to put out, but 
Milner played really well. Any arguments for him starting right back against Chelsea at the weekend, remembering that he started against Man City earlier in the seasons? Season, I should say. Um, not for me. Not for me. Just, yeah, I agree. just because he's just literally come back. Um, he's, he, I think this is his first game in about six weeks or something. I don't know. I don't even know what's what, but it's, it's about. It feels like that one. So I'd, I'd be surprised if he starts. What but, about um, the the front three? Obviously, Salah came on. He played through the middle. With Elliot think, Wright, possibly if Nunes isn't fit, that might be an option for the Chelsea game. I don't think you really have much of an option. I mean, aside from uh, Gekko and Salah, who are you going to put up there? I think it'd be nice to see maybe Fabio get the start because um, you're not going to put Ox up there. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. if, if I know, I know it's one of those things where we're, we're shy of options. You know, we don't uh, get to choose exactly who we want, and uh, I don't. That's my opinion. I'd, I'd love to see like. Um, I'd love to see Harvey play on the right again. Yeah, so would I. And yeah. So you're saying I, I move Mo, Mo into a central position yeah, and I think get so. Harvey? I think so. And get Gakpo out left? I think so, left. yeah. I think, I think maybe Mo playing from a central central position, Harvey from the right, and then the left, the left seems to be the, 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 open, the problem, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, and considering we've got so, when everyone's fit, we have so many options from the left. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't... It's a difficult one, it really is. Um, Chelsea's got big defenders, they got tall defenders. I think yeah, it's going to come down to set pieces, that's what I think. Yeah, so it's it's a tough one, it's a tough one, but I think what you're, what you're saying is right in the fact that the way we set up today, it's not just for today's game, is it? He was thinking, of course they plan ahead with games, and that was the same with this lineup. It was definitely with the substitutions. You could definitely see that yeah. maybe cater him getting the 90 minutes is also getting his match fitness up for potentially starting Saturday as yeah. well that wouldn't surprise me but 1-0 well happy yeah, yeah. Um, no, do, do you know, do you know what pisses me off time. a little bit though is what, like I feel a bit thing saying this would be just one but like, in the in the should have played the home game he should have played the home that. game I was surprised played. he didn't and but. the fact that he hasn't I just I don't know it's it's quite yeah. infuriating but anyway listen the Reds have won I'm off for a curry sounds <laughs> yes he's looking good on his birthday the young man look at him yeah, yeah he might not tomorrow that. after yeah. that curry we'll <laughs> see we'll be have to do a podcast here with him oh. stinking the place out we'll see yes. what do you normally get by the way so um, we can prepare very i'm night. very bland yeah okay, that's, curry, good. that's a good start Kome, yeah tikka masala i'm quite boring really, how many poppadons you know I mean? do you get yeah so don't really get anything like you know what i mean don't really get any no. Not into like Vindaloo's and all that. Yeah. And it doesn't, it doesn't no, affect no. the stomach at all. Shit for days. Yeah, all right. So um, yeah, no, right. no, no, no. Just, just something pretty calm. So I'll be all right tomorrow, all right? Then. All right, good yeah. stuff. All right, well, make sure you like, subscribe. Zach here wasn't a subscriber. We found him randomly sitting at the back of the pub. They found me. I was sleeping yeah. on the streets, and they brought me on their podcast, yeah. and I subscribed to the channel. And you better do it too. Uh, <laughs> it's a great channel uh, for anyone who's local uh, following Liverpool. And uh, it, it, it's an, an exceptional challenge, uh, exceptional channel to follow. So get on it. You were just on the streets a minute ago, and now he's fucking giving us the big one. We him. need to give that. We need to give you a hundred dollars an hour. Yes, get me on I it. I didn't realize. Come on. Like, where is it? Don't give me any yeah, money. Exactly. I'll take the five. There I'll reinvest go. it. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll be doing another one for the Chelsea preview for the game this weekend. So, as we said, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And Cheers, Zach. Cheers, Glenn. Enjoy your curry and happy Thanks, birthday, man. sir. Happy birthday, Thank you. Man.